Hi, welcome to this video. This is chapter 7. In this video, I am going to explain parametric function. Parametric functions mostly two types. First one geometric functions and dimensional. In dimensional two types are there. Dynamic constraint mode, annotational constraint mode and parametric manager. Here we can put some equation to control our object. In this lesson, we are going to learn those things. Let's go to tutorial. Click on subscribe. Click on bell icon for new update. This is AutoCAD interface. We have to access the parametric tab. Here, parametric tab. Click on this parametric tab. Here, we have some panels. Geometric panel and dimensional panel. Here, this is one is auto constraint. Automatic applicable for all constraints. Coincide. Click on this coincide. We can coincide two objects. Here, I want to coincide this line to this point. So, first of all, I want to select this point. Click on this point. Then, I want to select the second point. If you want, you can click it here or here or here. Now, I want to check it by this point click on this this is coincide it's right? the coincide command here also i have two various angles here also i can use this coincide click on coincide first point second point this is the coincide right? this is the coincide command you can identify this is coincided or not go to this point this will be show a small icon this is a coincide collinear this line will be light by this line it means here i have vertical line this line will be rotated as vertical line from in this point so click on collinear first line second line like as here here in this point is already coincided it means you can coincide this now click on collinear first line second line this is the collinear command concentric command here i have several circles i want to make all these circles center point into one so click on concentric and select the first object then select other object request same you can use this now i have several circles now you can move the old circles are moving the concentric function here the fix command i will discuss with little bit later parallel command parallel command makes these two lines are parallel so click on parallel first line second line these are parallel but coincided in a one point next parallel click on parallel click on this click on this here this distance will be the parallel distance here this line this line this is the parallel distance so this is the parallel command if you want you can adjust it but this will always keep the parallel so by creeping it automatically goes as parallel line here also you can adjust this but even keep in parallel this, this is the parallel command perpendicular command here two lines are not in perpendicular but we can do that perpendicular very easily click on this perpendicular tool click this line and click this line these lines are now in perpendicular now you can coincide click on this one this point and this point here the middle point coincide likewise here i have this tool and i want to make it as perpendicular click on this perpendicular first line second line here these, these are the perpendicular lines now if you want coincided by the corner points or end points click on this 
first point second point now coincided but this angle is perpendicular you can you can refer by this angle as perpendicular next command is horizontal now i have an angle line i now i want to horizontal this line so click on this horizontal then click on this line this automatically going to horizontal line i cast vertical i have an angle line like this i want to vertical this line so click on parameter and click on this vertical and select object now these objects are in vertical if you want you can coincide it by this coincide object these are the perpendicular is anywhere you can adjust it is anywhere it will be keep in perpendicular you can adjust this and here also if you want you can adjust it you can rotate it but it will keep the perpendicular or 90 degree here also this is very useful to do the advanced geometric objects tangent command okay, I have a circle now I want to put a line here this line so now now I want to find the tangent point so click on tangent and click on the first object and second object here this is a tangent point if you use this line to make a tangent point here you can adjust this or you can adjust this way it's automatically keeping the tangent point or else you can use another line also here from to here I'm drawing this line and go to parametric go to tangent first point second point now these points are tangent now I can join this by this tangent here both are tangent you can adjust it it will be go through this line these both are in tangent the tangent command next command is smooth here I have two spy line object I, I want to smooth this object in the joining point so click on smooth first and second object is automatically smooth that object here also I can do click on smooth this point and this point here I have smooth object on this point next command is equal here I have unequal lines so I want to equal these lines so click on this equal then click on this line and click on this line these two lines are that now is equal here I want to make this line and this line equal so click on equal this line and this line now these are equal and also same here right now I have four lines the equal lines I, I want to make a square right or horizontal and vertical so click on this click it as horizontal and also here I want horizontal and vertical this line I have four objects I, I want to coincide this point and this point coincide this point and this point coincide this point and this point coincide if you want you can adjust it now it's a time to do the fix command here I have circle and a line first I am going to make this line to tangent to this circle so click on tangent circle and line here this made made as a tangent I, I, now I want to fix this tangent line so click on fix command and click on this tangent line now this line is fixed if you want to adjust this line this automatically fix the point as tangent with this line and circle here I can rotate it but it will vary with the tangent point it's easy if you want a, a complicated object you can use this now I am going to explain delete constraints and auto constraint here I have some constraints so I am going to delete this and put it is by auto constraint so click on delete constraint select this and enter now all are deleted 
Now I want to put a gain. Click on auto constraint and select those and enter. Here I have object is tangent. The fixed point is noted here. Fixed point is I want to take it as manually. And here I have an object, so I want to put the constraint. Click on auto constraint and select this object and enter. Here the horizontal, okay, parallel, and those and perpendicular is a main constraint. This is an easy way to draw this object. So delete constraint mean we can delete the constraint by selecting this and here also and auto constraint mean we can put the constraint by selecting the object is automatically putting the constraint in geometric panel we have three more options first one hide all show wall and show hide here hide all i have the constraint i am going to hide those objects so hide all and show all now showing here show or hide we have several options are there click on show or hide and select the object and enter we have show or hide those object and reset we can reset this object also so this object we can use further dimensional constraint here we have linear horizontal vertical here linear horizontal mean horizontal distance and vertical distance mean y distance here aligned angle lines we can measure here radius diameter angle likewise our dimensions we can use these constraints also now i have i have a triangle now i am going to mark all dimensional constraints so click it here horizontal the first point and second point click the point here this is variable and this is the variable distance and vertical first first point second point click it here this is the next word variable and aligned first point second point here d3 it's automatically taking the variables d1 d2 d3 because these are distance that's the first we have done those things now i can do the angle lines so click on angular first line second line here this is variable is ang 1 for 35 degree and same as here ang 2 55 and you can adjust it here next command is radius and diameter here i have a circle so i can mark this by radius rate one this is my variable here already i put the radius uh, constraint if you want to use the diameter constraint you can't use here because i already marked as this radius if you want to use this diameter you have to delete this one or else you have to use another circle so i, I have to draw here the another circle so click on parametric and go to diameter and click on this circle circumference and click it here diameter one is the variable this is the diameter value here i have marked the diameter next command is convert in this convert we can convert the dimension to dimensional constraint click on this convert and click on this dimension and enter is converted to dimensional strain here also i can select this and enter also this diameter 2 is converted to dimensional constraint in this dimensional panel we have two options are there first one dynamic constraint mode dynamic constraint mode we can adjust this zoom is automatically adjusting the text but the annotational constraint mode is according to the scale it will be vary that is called as annotational constraint mode here we have several dimensional constraints are there so we can manage this from here so we have to manage by the parameter manager click on this we have several the 
all of these constraints are denoted here. So you can create your function also. Here I have three circles. I have to add three circles radius to this circle. So click on here, create new user parameter, then user one. Now I want to give the value, the variable value as mr, means my radius, my radius value. Here I want to give the equation. Double click it here. Here I want to first diameter one by two. So d i a 1 by 2 plus next one is diameter 2 by 2 dia 2 by 2 next this plus r a d 2 now i have the function then enter here mr value is 80.80.1705 80 so i am going to add this circle this mr value so click on the radius and click it here enter now is the values are rad 3 now I am going to change this value double click in here and change this as mr then then click it so if you want to change this part you can adjust this double click here I want to give the 60 so the rounded value as 60 click then I want to give us here the 50 enter here 24 so i am going to change this as 25 now i have 60 50 so 110 and 25 likewise you can find the value as 80 here the next example i have two lines and a circle i want to add these two lines distance and take that value to give to this diameter so click on parametric and click on linear first point second point a hundred the distance one d1 is the variable and also here linear first point second point here d2 is a value is 50 now i am going to use these variables to add and get that value to give another uh, variable that variable is the diameter of this circle click on this and get the new value so i am going to give this md my diameter so i am going to give the function is here equal d1 plus d2 the value is 150 this is my variable so i can add anywhere click on this diameter and click on this line and the circle and click it here diameter 1 I am going to delete this one and give as md md means my di diameter the value the click it here here fix diameter md1 so diameter 1 is 150 here 50 and one, uh, 100 so 150 then I am going to give this as 25 enter here 25 is 50 75 if you want you can adjust this d2 value also the from d1 so i am going to add this d2 as a variable so here d2 is 50 i am going to double click it here and here i am marking it d1 into into 2 and here only one value is here 25 is automatically adjusting this one and this one also here i am going to give the value as 10 enter here you can see here it also adjust and also here so here 10 here 20 so 30 the diameter is 30 so this parametric functions are very useful to adjust our advanced geometrical object click on subscribe click on bell icon for new updates